Hello, and welcome to a bad rhythm game. Okay, so, I love Persona 3. It is still my favorite of all the Persona games. Games that I have played, which is 3, 4, and 5. I'll admit to not playing 1 and 2. But, I have a huge soft spot for 3. E, which is basically the only reason I bought this game. It's the only reason it's worth getting the game, in my opinion, is get to play with characters that I love again. So, I thought this was going to have a story element, because I played a little bit of Persona 4's dancing game, but it just seems like it's playing through different songs and whatnot. So, I'm going to play on easy right now. I may attempt to do some hard later on, but, and I think it's probably a thing where more one lock as I play through more of the songs, so we may see some little cutscenes, but nice I've literally only played through one song, and I'm pretty sure it was one of the DLC ones. And the only thing I changed is to have the scratch enabled on R1 and L1, which I think does help make it a little easier to actually play this style. I'm actually doing not too bad right now. I'm actually kind of shocked. Burn it. I was struggling a lot more in this one. The scratch itself is not necessary. It won't mess up scores if you can it will mess up scores, you won't get as high of a score, I think, but it's not gonna mess up combos. Oh wow, this song's fairly easy. And I jinx myself. Basically, this started as Elizabeth dragging you all into the Velvet Room, Club Velvet as she then called it, saying she basically kind of lost a bet with her sisters, her sister, and I don't know if that's referencing Margaret, or the twins from P5. Maybe a little bit of both. Margaret technically did first, so I guess Margaret then pressured all of them to do it. And also, I don't get it, but whatever. <laughs> it's definitely structured different because we were just like, hey, play through the stages and beat these bosses. What the dances are. And since it's basically a dream, they can dance even though if you put in Murder World, they probably couldn't. Correct and place for a bonus. I just want to be a partner. What's the next? When you meet various requirements while dancing, social events will unlock. View the social event section screen. You can jump by pressing. I guess I'm pressing triangle. You can also social events unlock. Let's look at this. Because I viewed one. Because Mitsuru automatically had one on one. It's sort of like the social link events from the actual game. Here. This is a dream, right? In reality, we're all a 
sleep in our beds, which means we're all having the same dream? Kind of, yes. <laughs> and we don't have to worry about time, right? We'll forget everything when we wake up? Mm. No sense in overthinking it. I'll go with the flow. Okay. It's scary how used to this I am. Somehow, it just feels like another day to me. A few years ago, I would have been freaking out. I adjust to things way too fast. Dancing, though? That really came out of nowhere. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, but nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Oh, but I think I can picture myself doing it. I like music, and I watch dance videos. What else? Uh, cheerleading? I kind of used to think that was cool. But I turned down the cheerleading club when they asked me to join. I was too embarrassed. What about you? Ever tear up the dance floor anywhere? Like at Club Escapade? Oh, God. Oh, um, only in the dance. What, really? <laughs> in dancing, so this seems like a good chance to try it out. Honestly, I still think this is crazy, but then again, I can dance my heart out here. I'll be counting on you if something happens, okay? You seem like you can handle anything. Alright, I think I'll go practice. It's our job to hype up the crowd, right? Okay, time to dance. I'm gonna be the disco queen. <laughs> I don't want to say this girl's dead. Hmm. <gasps> and I love costumes. Even better. The only thing I don't, there are some things I don't like about this video, and the fact that everything was grayed out when you're looking at it here. Because when I first. After I got through the first cutscene, I was on tutorials. I'm like, okay, I have to go through the tutorial before I can play anything. Because everything was grayed out, I didn't look like you could actually access it. But you can! Just slightly confusing setup. I like Fuka, so I'm gonna play with Fuka. Costume settings? Oh, you unlock summer clothes for everyone when you do that. I also downloaded a bunch of the free DLC, so this is one of the free DLC costumes. But I'll use her skating suits. Yeah. So. It looks like you're locked into certain partners until you can actually do other things. No immunity during fever time. Oh, okay. So you have ways to also make the game harder. No thanks. Not right now. We'll do normal. Okay, I can do this. Looks like it's beginning. Time to watch. I don't think I said it was still a bad game. I'm doing better than I thought I was doing, which is a little weird, but... That's probably partly because I'm playing on easy. And I haven't played anything else today that's confusing my hands. For anyone who's like completely ampedextrous, this is probably a good 
type of setup. Because you're using both sides of the controller the same amount. And I also think this game is probably actually better for the Vita than the original P4 one was. Just because it's a smaller screen. Or if you have a smaller TV, it may be easier just because. You have not as far to look at. If I had any larger of a TV, I'd probably hurt my neck when I see it looking from side to side. I played the demo for this game for a little bit before I actually got it, and the only reason I got it was because it was officially on sale! So this is exactly what I was looking for for an excuse to get to. to that and I was playing for price. Okay. I'm also super excited because this is going to be one of the games that will be made Pizza Target, but also Persona Cube 2 is coming! They announced that is releasing in June 4th of this year. And I already got the pre order for the collector edition ready to go because I'm absolutely getting that. I love the previous person with you, and it's a very cute. I'm pretty sure it's compared to either Bravely Default or Brave Exodus. I can't remember what game it's compared to because I haven't played that style or that series that people compare it to, so I can't remember the name of it. But it's probably the last game I will ever play on the 3DS. Because I don't see anything else coming for that system that I would really enjoy unless they make like a Dragon Ball Z Fusions 2. If they were to make that, I'd get another 3DS game. Because <laughs> Fusions was such a fun game. And more social events! This time with Fuka! Oh, I guess she's here too! Yeah, dancing could be considered a sports club. I'm ready to cheer on everyone. You're not dancing? Oh no, I'll try to dance too. But I'm not great at physical activities, so I thought I might help more as a support. Well, yeah, that's fitting because you're the support in the main game. <laughs> Yes, because it's a dream, and you can do anything you want in a dream. My assessment is that the only necessity for your successful dancing is self-confidence. You previously mentioned that you consider dancing to be fun, like a club activity. Break her logic, I guess. You should then consider this place as our dance club, with yourself as its president. Me, the president? I could do it. The title is merely a presumption. 
but this will allow you to achieve your dream. Oh, I just so nice. Oh, I just so nice. Right. It'd be much more difficult to do it any time besides now. All right, I'll do my best for the dance cheer club. No. Once again, you're not going to dance. She's so sweet. We support whenever we went to Tartarus and dealt with shadows. So I want to use my strongest skills and help everyone while we're here too. It's true that dancers try harder if they are being cheered on. That sounds like fun. I'm a little at least in the stage performance, I imagine depending on the dancer. The main, like, ballet is not something you cheer at. <laughs> I hereby elect myself president of the dance cheer club. That's a lot. <laughs> Thanks. I guess it is a bit daring for my usual self. After all, we are in a dream. This might not be the best way to put it, but since we'll forget everything when we wake up, I'd rather go and try new things. Yeah, that's the way to look at it. In that case, one must strike while the iron is hot. I will now resume practice, so please cheer me on, Fuku-san. All right. Oh, she even did a little dance. Oh, the gecko jerseys. Elizabeth is going to Most remarkable this. I think this is, must be the story aspect of it. But I'm actually going to do a few more songs. Let's see, dancing. Let me hear. These are some of the DLC ones that were free when I got this game. So let's have to try this one. It looks like there's no character. Yeah, basically this is like a mini. Yeah, this is a bit hard. To any music in any music, really, I am very lyrical. I like more lyrical songs than I do just instrumentals. Not to say there isn't good instrumental music out there, but I lean towards the lyrical type songs and games. Which is probably why I'm playing this. One of my favorite soundtracks is the Bioshock Infinite. That's one I will actually have on a playlist when I'm at work. And just listen to that and then add a focus on something. Because I can sort of shut off my brain but still get that lyrical. It does have a different instrumental. I just like the style of that soundtrack. A lot.
Luca, my favorite. I know they're supposed to be doing a P5 related announcement. One thing I... So the other day, I picked up the Maximum... When I was getting this, I was also getting the Maximum upgrade for World of Final Fantasy. Which is basically, they re-released the game for Switch with more content. And they basically just released a large DLC expansion to have all that content for anyone who already had the base game on the PS4. So you didn't have to rebuy really the game, you could just buy the expansion. And I wish more games did that. Like, don't really so bullshit with more content so I have to buy it twice. And I really hope that if they do are doing a release of Persona 5 or more content, then they give that option. Though they probably won't. But I think that it should be a more consumer friendly practice. hope whatever the announcement they do make is hey we're gonna also add in a female protagonist because I would love to have a female protagonist for that game I feel like more for something we need to have that option from the get-go anything else to show off Oh, does this unlock after you see it? Oh, it unlocks after you really play this one. Also, that's the jersey. Some cool. Not sure why I'm at Subaru's. Oh, what? That's the type of outfit I would wear. Because that looks comfortable. Jeans and tank top. That's usually my go to. This is one of the DLCs. And it's other. Which is sort of like Power Ranger, basically. So. I'm not sure if it's super easy anymore, but okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut this here. That was Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight. Light. I'm still not going to advocate that it's a good rhythm game, despite the fact that I'm having fun with it. If it weren't for Persona 3, being the main part of this would not be touching this at all. So, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.